Hooked into another one here on my stick bait. I hooked into something on my stump jumper. Got another one on the micro jig. Hi and welcome to another fishing spots video. In this video we explore some of the best camping and fishing spots in the far north of New Zealand. So our first stop is the Urititi Dock Campsite, south of Whangarei. It's only about two hours drive from Auckland. The dock campsite is located right at the heart of Breen Bay. As you can see here, this is a really nice uh, and also large dock campsite, heaps of space. And it's right next to the Orititi beach. Looking south now and at the southern end there is uh, Waipu. And it's a really long stretch of just sandy, nice beach. Ideal for surf casting and for contiki fishing. Lots of people fish here with their torpedoes and uh, take their torpedoes out into the deeper water for about a kilometer or so. It's also very suitable for drone fishing and surf casting in the evening. One of the specialities about Urititi is that there are uh, lots of paddle traps. Here's a bigger one. From Urititi it's only about a 15 km drive to Marston Point Wharf. This is a great spot for targeting squid in the evening and kingfish during the day. Our second fishing spot is just north of Whangarei and is called Otamura Bay. It's another dock campsite near a small township called Fananagi. This campsite is pretty remote and there is no cell phone reception. It is an absolute stunning fishing location. The beach here is perfect for launching kayaks, paddle boards or other small boats. There is also a lot of reef structure around the campsite for some rock fishing. It's also a great place for snorkeling and for collecting some kinna. Well, that looks like a good fish. Ooh. Alrighty, so snapper number two for today. That's a good eater. We also went out to collect a few tasty kinna. Oh. Our next fishing spot is called Piriri Bay. It's a dock campsite in the Fangaruru Harbour. This campsite is a little bit smaller than the previous two campsites, but again in a stunning location in the sheltered harbour, ideal for launching paddle boards, kayaks, or going for snorkel. Yeah, thank you. Oh, beautiful sky. This is just a reef marker out there. And I'm just uh, paddling around the corner now towards the uh, harbour entrance. I just noticed a bit of an arc here on the fish finder and uh, sure enough we got a, a snapper on. Not a big one but uh, it seems like uh, you know not a bad eating size either. So and there's a whole bunch more going on there at the moment. Alrighty so time to sign out here from Pirori Bay. So I got uh, two snappers so basically what I was after a feed for today. So our next fishing spot is north of Kerry Kerry and called Taranga Bay. So today I'm out at one of my favorite uh, fishing spots here in the Northland. It's called Taranga Bay and it's a really cool uh, campsite right by the beach in this bay like uh, just behind me so you can camp right there next to the next to the water it's awesome and uh, just out from the bay there's just such a nice, awesome coastline and some reefs right out from the bay as well. Uh, this place is just so bloody nice, unbelievable. Perfect for kayaking, of course, if you don't have too much swell coming onto the beach. So maybe not the best in a strong northerly breeze, something like that, you know, you get big swell coming in. But any other than that, it's actually pretty easy to launch and land a kayak here. And there uh, are so many options to explore just out at the left hand side of the bay is actually the entrance to the Fangaroa harbor and there are two points out there um, and when the current is flowing with an outgoing tide there are lots of 
looking around there, of course, waiting for all the stuff coming out of the harbor into the sea. So Taranga Bay. If you haven't been here, man, check it out. Park up at the campsite there for a couple of days and uh, I could easily spend like a couple of months here exploring every little crack and crevice. One of the best parts of the coastline that I, that I know. Our next fishing spot is the 90 mile beach on the west coast and we stayed at Ahipara, a little township at the southern end of the 90 mile beach. We tried some surf casting here. This is a famous surf casting beach and uh, annual surf casting competition is held here. Um, we didn't have success on that day, but if you're into surf casting and don't mind putting up with a lot of traffic on the beach, this is the place to go. So our next camping and fishing spot is called Rarava Beach, uh, just north of Pukenui on the east coast. This is another dock campsite with uh, great facilities. You can walk along the estuary to get to the beach. The beach itself is a long, beautiful, white, sandy beach, ideal for surf casting. The south side is the uh, mouth of the estuary. Pretty good spot to set yourself up with a surf caster there. There's also quite a bit of structure and seaweed around. So you can also drive the car right to the beach. And we caught ourselves a car away, which made for great sashimi. So our next fishing spot is right at the top of the North Island and is called Teputupudu Bay, another dog campsite. Uh, what a great camp that is, man. That's awesome. And there's an estuary running out towards the beach. The beach is pretty small, but you can launch your kayak there. And you can also uh, walk around the rocks and uh, for some pretty decent rock fishing and uh, snorkeling around there. You've got to be careful when you launch a boat or a kayak there because of the uh, waves. Suddenly out of nowhere there can be this pretty big swell uh, at the beach. And also if you paddle out too far there are quite a few strong currents going on. So I wouldn't venture out too far on a small kayak. But, you know, I launched my kayak there, I went a couple of hundred meters offshore, uh, cruising around there, and I caught some pretty decent fish. Stand your ground. I'm out here at Taputupuru in the far north. It might be a good idea to uh, chuck out a squid jig here. A squid jig and just let that uh, drift around here. Just hoping I get one, so I'm just gonna cast this squid jig out. And then it can sink and do its thing. Oh yeah man, well, I got a squid and a good sized one too, look at that, wow, so we know that there's squid around, oh my god, I'm happy, I'm happy having a nice squid here. Well guys, so uh, that's it for me today at uh, Taputupudu, I got two snapper, small ones, so I didn't keep any of those and uh, a nice big squid, so I'm really happy about the squid. Um, one of the target species that I wanted to catch here uh, with all that seaweed, so that, that was really good. So our last fishing spot is called Spirits Bay and it's just around the corner from Taputupudu. Another really nice dock campsite in the far north, perfect for fishing and camping. Right after Taputupudu we backtracked a little bit, it's about 30 kilometers. You drive a long, windy, very corrugated gravel road out to Spirits Bay. When you get to the beach out to Spirits Bay there's a little island uh, which you can access at low tide and fish off the rocks there which is already pretty good. But if you go to the right hand side of the beach you can walk all the way out to the rocks and there are lots of rock platforms. Get out the furthest. Uh, it's a bit of a hike and a scramble over the rocks, but you get a, right out a spot called the Rod Holders and there is a strong current running and deep water running right next to this uh, spot and this is the place to target bikinis and life baits and... Uh... Did you catch mom and baby? The Spirits Bay also has an estuary that goes out into the sea. You can actually launch your kayak at the estuary because the dock inside a little bit further away from the beach. 
and um, pedal out to the beach, drag the kayak across the sand and pedal out from there. So today is the day number two here at Spirits Bay. Uh, best fishing time is going to be in an hour or so from now. I've got myself set up with a new kind of trolling rig. I put a few squid skirts onto my line and then uh, the stick bait at the end to make it look like a bait school. I've been wanting to try that for quite some time now to see how that works because I hooked into a kingfish on a sabiki rig before but of course it wasn't strong enough to hold this kingfish so I wanted to do something that looks a bit similar to sabiki rig but it's really strong so we'll see how that goes today I'm gonna go and paddle out to that reef again and I think we got another trevally on Okay, we got something big on that. Oh. Oh, heavy, heavy ass. What is that? What the fuck is that? The granddaddy Hapuka. Look at this guy. Looks pretty spiky. So guys, I got something on the stick bait. Oh crap, it feels pretty heavy. What the heck have we got on here today? Oh, oh no man, it's a kingfish. Look at that. There he goes. So, come on. Come on. It's pretty heavy. It's almost as big as this uh, kingfish earlier. A nice feisty car, right? All right, you can go. But, uh... I went out of my kayak, caught heaps of fish. I caught trevally, snapper, kingfish, cow, white, granddaddy, hapuku, or a red scorpion fish, larakihi, you know, like you name it. It was pretty much there. It's a really nice spot. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed our video about fishing and camping spots in the far north. We're already back down in the South Island now, trying to catch an elephant fish. And it's uh, bloody cold. It's the middle of summer, and oh man, I'm freezing here. The South Island is really good for fishing too, so uh, check out our next fishing videos. We'll make some of our fishing spots on the South Island again as well. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And visit our website fishingreminder.com for the best fishing times. It's worldwide, it's free, and it really works good guys. So you go fishing at the right time. Alright, cheers and see you next time.